Hello everyone. In JH2, we have learned that velocity is defined as the rates of change of position. In the numerator, you see a triangle X, where triangle is a mathematical symbol for change. Triangle X means the change in position, where we commonly use final position minus initial position. Now, in the denominator, we see a time interval. It is crucial to note that if the time interval is big, we will get average velocity from the formula. Now, if the time interval tends to zero, it becomes smaller and smaller and smaller, then the whole equation will allow you to get the instantaneous velocity. What exactly is the instantaneous velocity? As the name suggests, it means the velocity at an instant in time. An instant means a particular point in time. Let's take a look at this position time graph, which is a straight line. We can see that this is an example of a constant velocity motion. Constant velocity motion, as the name implies, suggests that the velocity of the object is always, always the same. This means that the average velocity of the object would therefore be always equal to the instantaneous velocity of the object, which doesn't change. How do we calculate this average velocity or instantaneous velocity? Very simply, look at the graph. We have an initial position, final position, and therefore we apply our formula where the average velocity, in this case, which is equal to all the instantaneous velocities at all points in time, which is equal to the final position minus initial position divided by the time interval. You can recognize this as a gradient calculation. In the second example of a position time graph, we see a constant acceleration motion where the velocity of the object is changing. To calculate the average velocity of the object, we use the same method as before. We identify the initial position xi and the final position xf, and then we apply the formula for average velocity which is equal to the final position minus the initial position, getting us the, dis the displacement, divided by the time interval. Now, how do we calculate the instantaneous velocity when the instantaneous velocity is always, always changing and it's always different? First, we must identify a point in time when we want to calculate the instantaneous velocity and I draw a dotted tangent line. With this dotted tangent line drawn, which is a line, a straight line actually, that cuts the curve only at one point, which is at the point in time where we are interested to find the instantaneous velocity, I can proceed to figure out <coughs> and calculate the gradient of the tangent line. So the gradient of the tangent line is simply x2 minus x1 divided by the time interval. This is how I can calculate the instantaneous velocity of the object at that particular point in time.